Hey, what's up guys? Steve with Content Samurai here. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video um, showing you two scripts that I created for ChatGPT to help with keyword clustering um, and then article keyword uh, generation for the specific uh, topic within the cluster that we've generated. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, for this first prompt here, it is the keyword cluster prompt. I took some inspiration initially from the uh, AIPRM for ChatGPT browser extension. Uh, if you're not familiar with that one, I'd suggest checking it out. There's some pretty good uh, pre-built templates that you can use in there as well. Um, I liked the markdown table format, uh, format that they created. So um, I kind of ripped out some of that and made my own. So for the first one, we'll go ahead and put dog washing here. Um, so in this target keyword section, it says keyword normally. So just replace what's within there with your keyword. And then again, here in the little quotes, put your keyword once more. Uh, for the search intent, choose whichever one you want. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do informational. And then you can go ahead and just start generating. So what it should do is create a markdown table with what we've talked about. Sometimes it breaks for some reason and doesn't really write them correctly. Um, so you may have to like start it a couple times, like stop it, make a new one and do it again. But it looks like it's doing it correctly this time. So thank you ChatGPT for not being a jerk. Um, so go ahead and let this do its thing. Um, what you'll do with this essentially after this is all said and done and I show you both of these is you can then take with the outputs and put them into whatever AI writer you choose to use. I like to use ZimWriter. I think it gives the best quality outputs that I've used so far um, out of any of the AI writers that I've used so far. So the example I'll show you is using that. Um, I will have links in the description below um, for the uh, for for ZimWriter for the keyword cluster prompt text file uh, that I've for the prompts that I've created here. That's just a Google download uh, link, so you can use that. Um, and I will also link to Ghostwriter, a markdown program that I like to use um, for like ZimWriter puts everything in markdown format when you make it, so it's just easy to do it that way. Uh, so let's see. Um, I do already have an article generated from a test that I did that uses it's using the exact same format here. Um, just instead of waiting the five minutes or whatever it is and not having you guys sit here while I try to think of something to say since I don't know how to speed up the videos or anything like that. Um, I will just show you on an article that I already generated. So um, now that that's done, and if you wanted to create more, by the way, it's like see how it's stopped here in the middle. I could just tell ChatGPT to continue writing um, and it would continue writing. Um, but in this case, it, it doesn't really matter. You could normally just type continue writing. Um, one quick call out actually, um, I noticed there's commercial here. So search intent, we did specify informational. Sometimes for whatever reason, because it knows th the three search intent types primarily are commercial, transactional, and informational, it'll just choose one. Um, I don't really know why that is. I didn't make chat GPT, so couldn't tell you why sometimes it chooses not to listen. People don't listen sometimes either so it is what it is for the most part you get what you want um, and there's plenty of usable information in here um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and paste the second prompt in here um, and then what you'll do it's very very simple so we'll use diy dog washing um, actually we'll use the this one here this last one so dog health is our keyword cluster oh actually we need to start with the click enticing title so uh, this one seems fine. We'll grab that, paste it there. Next one is keyword cluster. That's this first column. And you'll get used to the, the order of this stuff as you go through it. Keyword focus or focus keyword, sorry. You'll put right here. And that is all you'll need to change within the second prompt. And go ahead and do this. It should spit it out in comma separated. Sometimes it does it in list form. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. And so this time it's doing bullet points. Um, so bullet points are fine. 
It's not going to hurt anything. If you really wanted it in comma separated, uh, once this is done, I'll just type this. I'll say write these in comma separated form. Common comma separated form. Please. No reason not to be nice. <clears throat> it's doing me a big favor. So. Do, do, do. Oh, and for your initial keyword that you choose, it can be a long tail keyword, it can be a short tail keyword, doesn't, or I don't know if it's called a short tail keyword, it would make sense to me that it's called a short tail keyword, but whatever. You can use whatever keyword you want. If you got a keyword specifically that you want to use from Ahrefs, SEO Diddy, SEMrush, whatever, uh, Uber Suggest, Google Ad Keyword Tracker, whatever it's called, any of those, totally fine, doesn't matter it's going to help you either way. So uh, we've got our comma separated list here. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we take this, open up ZimWriter here, click the SEO blog writer, paste our keywords here, paste our keywords here, come back over here, grab our click enticing title, super click enticing, you can wordsmith that up. If you want to, I would recommend maybe going into like a text editor or something like that and asking ZimWriter to generate you a better one um, if you don't particularly like this title. But either way, for the sake of this, I'll go ahead and use the one it provided. Um, we'll go here, title required. There's not currently a way to limit the number of H2s that I want this to generate based on these keywords. Um, so it will likely generate 15 h2s which is way too many um, but it's fine we'll go ahead and click it and it'll fill this all up probably or real close to it all right yep so um in here what i would do and what i did in the article i'm going to show you is i deleted this all the way down to seven or six one of the two um, and six generated me, six or seven generated me about a 2,500 word article. Um, I don't know if that's super consistent, uh, but it did leave this at three. I changed the voice to personal for this specific type, especially being in like the pet niche. Um, that's probably the best and it's an informational post. So I just think it's probably best for that. I do like lists. I do like FAQ because it gives you a really good opportunity to grab things from the people also ask section in Google. Um, and I like enable ATs. I think it's a nice flow in the article to have it kind of prep you for what's coming in the next section. Um, so like I said, I would just delete everything all the way up to like six or seven, um, unless you have something that you really need to make a gigantic article for. Uh, but for me, I do not. I don't think it takes 6,000 words to tell somebody how to wash a dog. Um, so either way, you've got six here. And then what I would do, uh, audience first, don't need none. Don't need to change any of this stuff. I like leaving this at around three. I think that's plenty. Um, and then, I mean, you could obviously change that to whatever you want it to be. Um, I've never really messed with this section too much. I usually just kind of leave it where it is. Um, I think if you get too keyword dense, especially when you have a list of keywords like this, it, it just kind of crams things. So three, I think is fine. Um, and it'll do its best to, to give you whatever's relevant for this specific section too. So, and then what I would do is just hit start SEO writer. It takes around five minutes or so, sometimes less, um, to generate with six or seven titles. Um, and then what you'll get is you'll get an article that looks something like this. Um, I added this little markdown for the H1 here. ZimWriter does not put markdown for the title for some reason. I don't know if that's just a limitation in how it spits it out, but that's how you mark it for an H1. Um, and then I obviously deleted the tokens generated and stuff like that for the top. Um, and then what I do is I'll copy this guy, open up Ghostwriter here, and I'll go ahead and paste it, which it was already pasted, so I didn't really need to do it again, but uh, just for this, so you can see, you got your markdown format here, and it go, it goes in and it just does everything for you. Ghostwriter is a free tool as well. Um, you can use one of the tools that um, are commonly shown in the videos that uh, 
that Matt creates and I'm sure other people talk about as well. Um, I'll link to this in the description below to Ghostwriter. It's a free program that you can download. I think it works on Mac, uh, Linux, and Windows. Uh, this is Windows, obviously. Um, I just like this so I can read it here and I don't have to go to another website every single time I make an article. And uh, yeah, it's just easier for me to do it this way. Then I can just copy this whole thing, edit it however I want to, and then paste it into you know, Phrase or Surfer SEO or Neuron Writer, which is the one I use, um, do my content edits, and then either copy and paste it from there into WordPress or if whatever tool you use imports into WordPress or whatever system you use, just upload it and import it there. So um, that's it for today. I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was, or if it wasn't even, uh, comment below, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, the links in are going to be in the description below for everything. Um, I'll link to Zimwriter to ghostwriter. Uh, I'll link to chat GPT, although I'm pretty sure everybody knows about chat GPT at this point. Um, and then I'll have the link for the scripts so you can download that as well. Um, so like comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want to, um, this is my first video. Hopefully it's helpful. Um, if not, I'll try to do better next time. Sorry, guys, but I'm sure somebody will get some value out of it. So thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.